fine, but I will soon not be fine. Yeah, I know. Love you. Love you too. Do not want to do this. <sighs> do not want to do this. All right. What is up, Kilo Crew, and welcome to today's video. Today, Randy and I are not at all excited. <laughs> I'm saying 0% excited because we are about to feast on scorpion pepper infused popcorn, courtesy of... It's known as the world's hottest popcorn. Big thanks to our friend Tom. He's the owner of International Popcorn Company. He watched both of our videos for that one hot chip challenge and wanted us to send us this popcorn that his company sells. He got on our good side by sending us two amazing things of very sweet, loaded up with chocolate and just goodness popcorn. The company's based out of New Jersey. They sell all over. The link is down in the description, but whew, this is gonna be hot. Yeah, definitely not looking forward to it, but as with all spicy challenges, <laughs> Randy and I decided to take advantage of the fact that it is a romantic holiday Aww. coming up. It is Valentine's Day, so we're going to be doing a spicy couples Q&A. So uh, we will kick this off by reading what is in this popcorn here. It is a whopping 100 calories, probably the healthiest challenge we will do for quite some time. Agreed. But uh, the ingredients are simply organic popcorn, corn syrup, cane sugar, soy lecithin, however you say that, and then Trinidad scorpion pepper. So that is going to be crazy intense. It says warning for adults only. Now this isn't an official like food challenge, so we're not going to be doing anything like weird where we're like timing it or restricting water. We're simply gonna treat this almost like a Hot Ones video and uh, just trying to survive while asking each other really complicated. I am gonna try to go without water. Life questions. I choke on normal popcorn. So again, a big thank you to Tom, actually a big no thank you, but thank you for the <laughs> delicious candy ones. Those were fantastic. Yes. Uh, we are about to torture ourselves, but without further delay, Let's rip into this. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. These are both unopened. And, uh, yeah, they are unopened. We haven't smelled these, so. We, yeah. Ugh. It's clever packaging. One chip packaging. challenge has Carolina Reaper peppers. This just has Trinidad Maruga. We will see. But it's gonna take longer to eat these. And there's yes. like, what, 25 to 30 kernels, you said? Something Actually, like that. Actually, they can see the table, right? Katina and I keep this house very clean. Don't yeah. You worry. Ooh, it actually almost looks like, like a, caramel corn. Yeah, caramel corn. Caramel corn. Caramel. It doesn't smell Covered hot. Covered in syrup. <laughs> he syrup. makes fun of me for saying syrup, but that's it's the word. Syrup. It's definitely syrup. Anywho, it doesn't smell scary, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna have to, like eat all these at once and then start asking questions that you guys thankfully submitted. So thank you guys for all your great questions from Instagram and Facebook. I think maybe we should just snack on these as we go or eat them all at once. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I think that sounds terrible. I, I don't know. It's going to be crazy. hot. We'll okay. have to see how hot these are. We have not tried. Mine is empty. Okay. I'm going to just pull them out of the bag like a normal human and not dump it on the table. That's really weird. So, anywho. Um, I trust the cleanliness of our house. <laughs> Well, that, I guess, says something nice about yes. me. I'm gonna get my anyways, kisses in before no, this starts. Please. Oh, man, oh, man. Ugh. I'm so on edge right now. Love, see, I'm one of those people where when I'm on edge, like, don't, don't talk to me. I'm very nervous right now. I do not like spicy things. She's stalling. I am stalling, but, all right, we're gonna kick this off. I've got some questions pulled up here, and, um, Cheers to Do we eat one at a time? painful death. I All right, much. Tom. Right now we like you. If this is going to be real hot, we're going to be I upset. already don't like you, Tom. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Okay. I did see this on the nutrition facts. That is hot right There's away. 11 grams of added sugar. So it's spicy, but it's going to be sweet too. And yeah, it is hot. It is very hot right away. But it tastes so, like caramel corn. It is caramelly. <clears throat> But it's it hits you right in the back of the throat right away. That's oh. what she said. But um, I'm gonna try and eat this really fast. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> but the good news is it's got the texture. You're right. <coughs> I'm better than I will be in ten minutes. Mm. This has a lot of heat to it, but actually, I feel like this is gonna slowly build. The sweet mm -hmm. is delicious. I mean, sugar is yummy. That's why everybody loves it. But we knew we had good oh. quality popcorn before this, but. All right, I'm gonna ask some questions while we're munching. Okay, I got this. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay, this one is from Alexandria Lancaster. Do you and Randy Santel plan on staying in Milwaukee after his internship or will you be open to a move? Hmm. I haven't heard any of these yet. 
So all these are new to me. She scraped all of our posts and stuff for mm -hmm. it. But we bought this house knowing that we were mostly gonna live in it during my nine month internship. And then a couple of months here and there of break. We knew we weren't gonna be here forever. Uh, that's never been the plan, but I do intend to finish my competitive eating or professional eating career while living at this house, but I didn't want like a $1,500 storage unit. So we bought this and we'll be able to keep this as the base while we travel all over the world once the once the world opens back up after my internship's over. Yeah, Milwaukee is great, but I am not a fan of cold weather. I'm definitely a hot weather sort of person. I'm not a hot food sort of person, but I'm a hot weather sort of person. So, like Texas, Florida, Arizona, those would be great. Oh wow. This body belongs in a bikini, not in oh. a winter coat. Oh please, he's trying to earn brown points. <laughs> it's his fault that Tom said this. This is delicious, yeah. I'm just raging and angry right now. Oh. It's his fault this is a video. She's never angry oh. at somebody who's perfect. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, next question is from Outdoor Addict Rocks. Do you both agree or have to compromise on the temperature that the house is kept at? This is a randy question. Oh, it is. Yeah, I yeah. hate it. Oh, yeah. Let's she, talk about she it. She pays all the utilities, so I don't really get involved with that. But, no, it's... Well, actually, I will say, at first it was terrible. The people that built this house and flipped it were really janky. So the uh, the flooring was actually covering a vent. And so the basement was very, very cold. So it was upsetting. But now that that's fixed, it's a little bit better. But the problem is, is the fans. It's not the temperature, it's the fan. She has a ceiling fan coming down on us. Or wait, no, on the master bed, because you're on the couch. <laughs> but yeah. then she's got other fans. And then it's cold too, it's like 35 degrees. <laughs> Basically like a refrigerator at a restaurant. I keep the house at 66. It's very cold. Sleeping cold is scientifically proven to improve sleep, so you're welcome. I have to wear you're like welcome. long sleeves and a hoodie and stuff. He's a freak, while he I'm sleeps. While walking around he sleeps enjoying like my house. One of those thunder blankets that you give dogs that no, have it's like a weighted blanket. scare issues. It's a weighted blanket. He oh, sleeps under one of those. for people with anxiety. Yeah, and you cause all my anxiety. Oh, That's why okay. I need a weighted blanket. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna do this kind of like how we normally do and they're gonna progressively get spicier. This is delicious. Okay. It is delicious, but even it, though it, it hurts. But it is really hot. Um, better um, than the one chip challenge and a hundred times better in taste. Okay, um, this one is from Amy Jusma. I hope I'm saying that correctly. She asked two great questions. Do you like the same genre of music? And actually, yes, we don't ever fight over what music we're listening to. The only thing that ever happens is Randy likes to listen to the same song like 8,000 times on repeat until I want to like smash his phone. Um, I have heard Adele 8,000 times, uh, Kesha, Gaga, tell him, Cyrus, tell him. over and over and over again. There's a rock and roll version of Mulan's I'll Make a Man Out of You, and it is amazing. And I listen to that a lot. but. It's always been a thing. I listen to stuff on repeat. My sister does it too. I used to sell roofs back in 2013 in Omaha and I listened to Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus like 2,000 times. All the people living with me threatened to break my computer if they heard the song again. Um, but other than his habit of listening to things 8,000 times until I want to break it, uh, we both listened to, that was really creepy sounding. <laughs> That's a Valentine's Day um, video. Yeah, hopefully we don't get demonetized for ah. that. Um, no, but we, we both enjoy it, like country music, some like 80s oldies, rock and roll, and then of course modern hip hop. And she went to the Miley Cyrus concert with I me did. at uh, Summerfest. Oh. She didn't go to Kesha. No. And I didn't tell you, Kesha canceled her March upcoming concert, which is very sad. Wow, I'm so heartbroken. She um, is. Okay, so that leads into uh, Amy's second question. Thank you again, Amy, for the great questions. What are your favorite things to do together? And um, I guess I'll throw my hat in the ring on this one. I enjoy when uh, when we're not eating a ton, we go out and we do a lot of like brewery hopping. We're both kind of beer snobs. And one of the great things about Milwaukee and Wisconsin is we have a lot of great craft breweries and a lot of really great like kind of uh, gastro pubs and stuff. So we really enjoy going around trying different beer, different food in uh, normal human quantities and not stuffing ourselves. So that's one of my favorite things to do. One of the first sexiest things she told me is that she loved craft beers and stouts and IPAs and stuff when we were in Alaska. 
and I knew that we were gonna get along because those are my favorites. But yeah, we both kind of enjoy eating at a slow pace, normal delicious food and beer, and we just don't get to do it a whole lot because we're usually dieting when we're doing all this. But I am really excited to travel with her. Once my internship's over, we've got a lot of places to go. I gave her a trip, a three-day weekend in Chicago. Once we can get to one with no food challenges, she's never been, so I'm excited for that. And then lots of other places to go. So yeah, we play games every now and then, but yeah, just spending quality time whenever I'm not doing internship or work stuff is, is always great. This is a bad idea, but I'm gonna drink water just because my mouth is getting really dry. And I am not. Because I listen to that Mulan song a lot. <sighs> That does just make it worse, but I am unable to keep talking without a little bit of water. But um, that was a great question, thank you. Next question is from Toilar Henke. What is the number one challenge on your Wisconsin bucket list now that you're here? My tummy is rumbling. Yeah, this is burning. Ooh. It may be sweet, but this is gonna hurt later. I don't really, oh. I don't really, it, the challenges aren't the thing, but I'm excited to take her to La Crosse, Wisconsin because it's a cool little couples weekend kind of place eventually, once it probably cools or warms up a little bit. But, uh, well, I guess my, my bucket list is I want to rematch the eight pound shepherd's pie that I lost at Mulligan's. I also want to try, I mean, I'm not going to beat Molly, but she did like 360 ounces of prime rib at Ward's or whatever it is. I do want to try that just to see how much prime rib I can do. Oh, <clears throat> what about you? Uh, you know, I don't really know too much about the challenges here in Wisconsin totally because a lot of them are defunct, but there is a very Not large Not on foodchallenges.com though. Yeah, sure, sure. The, uh, uh, the one that I've been wanting to do is actually a pizza cake challenge at a place called mm. Zeroni's, which is a stack of their pizzas topped with like cheese curd and marinara. And that sounds really delightful but also really challenging. So I would love to give that a try, their big Zeroni's Pizza Cake Challenge. It sounds delicious, but it also sounds like a sodium overload, so I would probably bring like a milkshake with me, but. And then that omelet, that the tsunami end. omelet in uh, Appleton or whatever it's at. It's it's at the Weather Vane, but yeah, yes. that one's up there on my list of things to do as well. That one's pretty nearby, but great question, Toilar. Um, hopefully I was saying that name right. And then here is a really juicy question, kind of juicy, that wow. I'm excited, uh, that got asked a very long time ago, and that both Randy and I really liked, and that is from oh. Rochelle Wilson. Would you have dated if you knew each other in high school? This is one question I was gonna make sure was asked. In high school? Uh, no. If, if the Same question what? is high school, then no, because you were really into gaming. Uh-huh, okay, and I'm glad I, they agree on this. I didn't even really know what World of Warcraft was until, I don't know. Yeah, so. Still really don't, other well, than the South Park episode. I'm snotting. All right, I'm done with my last two kernels here. <sighs> but. And I have two kernels left, but. I was into sports and bush yeah. light when I was younger. <laughs> and Miller High Life. Um, my last popcorn kernel is going in. I didn't yeah. go on my first date till I was 19, like second. I was a sophomore in college. I would agree with that. Oh, good product Except placement. Except for the from, champagne of beers. Good product placement, placement from Randy there. But um, I'm glad he said that because I totally agree. I, like we never talked about this beforehand, but uh, yeah, I was so busy being a nerd that I had like zero romantic life <laughs> at all. I think the only thing we would have had in common is that we could both eat a lot. Uh, I could always house a lot of food, so. But also yeah. too, um, I don't think we would have dated or, or really had anything happen at all at any time prior to when we did met. I felt like we met at a perfect time. We sure did. Uh, in 2012, I made myself single and then I was intent on staying single until I achieved a good portion of my goals and, <sighs> and ambitions to get the ball rolling as to what I wanted to do in the future. But I think we met at a very good time in both of our lives, I guess, because you had been single a while too. Mm -hmm. But I was kind of ready and you kind of fit well into the plans. Wow, I got really deep. Yes, we're very, both very lucky. This would be a moment for a cute little smooch, but uh, that didn't happen in both of us. Actually, I'm going to ask my question now, and I just oh. thought of this when I tried to kiss her earlier. Would you rather kiss me after eating spicy food or after eating a very garlicky chimp? Oh, obviously garlic. Really? Okay. Because garlic at least doesn't it. hurt. But he is oh. one of, he's an oozer when he eats garlic. And so he'll eat garlic and ooze it for like two days. I can't mm. hang. I don't do smoochy smoochy after garlic. 
I am the Wicked Witch of the East that way. But Still no water. I'm dominating. No, this and is I, very... I want to point out that was actually very good tasting popcorn. It was. It's very spicy, was. and I can only really think of the spice, but the <laughs> sugar content and overall very good. Well done, Tom, with his devil's heat. Yeah. Gourmet popcorn. Thank based you. out of New Jersey. Thank you, and I hate you, Tom. But um, for our final question, uh, we didn't actually get too many questions on our post, so I thought of a little bit of a clever one. I think it's a little clever. The final question I wanted to ask, which is kind of movie themed since we have some popcorn here, is who was your first on-screen crush? First ever you can remember. Oh, I don't know. I have loved Kristen Bell for a very long time. Oh, good choice. I liked Kristen Bell before Ooh. she even married Dax Shepard. What was the first show uh, you saw her in? Oh, no, I know this. Okay. My girl, who went absolutely nuts. She's the man. Oh, That Amanda was my Bynes. first crush. Yeah, Amanda, Amanda Bynes. Bynes. Amanda Bynes. Bynes was my first, and then she went off the deep end. Great But movie. since then, Kristen Bell, and, and she's okay with anything ever happening with Scarlett Johansson. Oh, yeah. Scar Jo. Call us. Uh, um, but yeah, Kristen Bell for sure. Yeah, she's really pretty. Amanda Bynes as well. Um, and yours is Hugh Jackman? No, my first ever on-screen crush was actually Brennan Fraser as George of the oh, Jungle. Oh, yeah, you told me that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's just something about his long flowing locks and that beautiful jungle sound that he made while shirtless that just was my awakening. <laughs> I don't think it was quite like that. But, it was more uh, of a Chewbacca style. That, that kind of was. But <sighs> anyways, that was a really uh, not fun Q&A, but actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Mad props to Tom. Thank you for sending this in slash no thank you. Thank you to everybody who asked us <laughs> questions. Um, if you guys, of course, like have other questions, maybe we covered them in past spicy q and So definitely check them out on my spicy challenge playlist, which I'll have probably pop up at the end of this video. But that's all I've got for today. Uh, if Randy has anything else? I don't think so. Well, anyways, that was probably the least romantic thing I could think of doing. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a really great and fun romantic Valentine's Day with whoever it is that you are spending time with. Randy and I were gonna be in a food coma after a long weekend of eating shenanigans. We have a eight pound cheesecake that's going to be shaped as a heart that we are going to be sharing together in a couple days. Yes, so our that pancreases is, are already crying. Basically, we're gonna have just a super oh. romantic time dying in front of a cheesecake together, but thank you guys so much. We wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you for supporting our relationship this entire time. Uh, we, we love you guys and really appreciate it. And we uh, we have fun being And happy Valentine's <laughs> Day to all the single people out there as well. That is it for now. Until the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye.